Hello, Woo! everyone. Yeah. Welcome to Dragon Talk. Yeah. How is everyone doing? I'm still signing into my news documents, so bear with me here. I'm, we're great. We're great. I'm Greg Tito. I'm Shelly Mazanoble. Hi. Hi. How are you? You haven't been too busy this week. It's been very busy. Me getting everything like, ready for Dungeons and Dragons Live. What? Which is not even how it's supposed to be said. <laughs> it's D and D Live. I don't know why D &D I said D Live. That's like me saying, like, do you use the uh, tool Dungeons and Dragons Beyond? <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do to make all of my characters. <laughs> yes, I do. I, they're interchangeable. The Dungeons D &D and Dragons and the Dungeons and Dragons. Um, hi, everyone. Hey. Welcome. We are here on uh, Twitch. We have not yet begun recording our intros. Uh, we have a lot of new faces in this room. You, it sounds like everything just feels different. It, and sounds, it sounds a little different. different. Yep. Yeah. Not going to uh, lie. That's because uh, we have a new sound person. Hello. Hey. What's going on? Not much. Excited to be here. Woo. Woo -hoo. You know, new Ryan, Ryan usually claps. Here, gives us applause. We're we're into the applause <laughs> that's now. A better clap. That's yep. true. That is a much better clap. Uh, thank you for joining us, Ryan Marth. Our usual uh, audio engineer is expecting. What do you expect? When he's expecting. When he's expecting. I expect someone to fill in for our sound. That's right. Uh, so we've got uh, uh, Matt, dead sound uh, extraordinaire, making things happen today. Thank you, Matt. Uh, we also have Bart Carroll. Whoa. The snappiest Bart dresser Carol. in the office. <laughs> it's a slow clap for Bart. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> now I feel like it's sad, Bart Carroll. He is sad, Bart Carroll. We are over there making things happen. Get some tunes going, DJ. <laughs> Uh, we're going to be speaking to Chris Funk, speaking of DJing. Yeah, and tunes. And tunes. Yep. And uh, music. And clapping. And clapping. Uh, Chris Funk is the, uh, well, he's the guitarist for the Decemberists, uh, but he's a multi-instrumentalist. Well. Uh, and he is putting together, as well as performing, all of the music that's going to be at Dungeons and, at D&D &D Live uh, <laughs> Sunday evening, starting around 5 p.m., which is great. That's awesome. It's going to be fun. That is going to be fun. Yeah. I can't wait to talk like, to him. Yeah. I'm very curious how he has put together this lineup. I like that I uh, can uh, text with someone whose name is Funk. It just makes me happy. Agreed. I'm just like, oh, I just, when I need to search for like, what did he say recently? Oh, I'll just search for Funk. I feel like it it's, up. it's good also that, that he's a musician <laughs> and his last name is Funk. You know, it almost seems like uh, he was destined. like Yes. And I actually remember reading an article in the... Seattle Weekly or Seattle Times or something a long time ago, and they featured people who have names that actually like belie their profession. Oh! And at the time, I was working at this day spa, yeah, and there was a massage therapist there, and his name was Rob Downs, but it sounds like Rob Down, and he was a massage therapist. Oh, Get it? that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So like Chris Funk as a musician. So what's what does Mazenoble mean? It means she who makes board games. <laughs> In in the old country tongue, yes, yes, yes. back in in Italy, yes, yes. That's oh, so. This pioneer is of board games. Why uh, it makes total sense that Tito Beverage, right, uh, makes vodkas. That makes perfect sense. But yeah. Greg Tito, I don't know what that means. It means the happy vodka. Ah, gregarious, gregarious vodka. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna start gregarious making gregarious Tito. If I ever want to start up a side business. That's it. Gregarious. Everybody vodka. needs a side hustle. <laughs> exactly. I think that's important. I. Uh, my my wife's maiden name is uh, Logeman, uh, oh. which is a German name, and it uh, I believe I've been told that um, the theater houses in Germany were called loges. No like, way. And so it, her name meant theater person, theater man. Really? Yeah. So she was destined to go into that. Exactly. Yeah. And Isn't Bart Carroll <laughs> is a person. He loves Christmas carols. Oh, I was going to say, he, he likes people named Carol. And people named Carol. Right. He like, is like the caroler. Of carols. Of carols. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very good singing voice. I always right. hear him just... Belting it it's out. It's not me that does that. I never I sing see. songs in the office. No. No. You don't... Well, you're not very theatrical. <laughs> like that Bart Carroll. Exactly. I don't know if I've ever actually heard Bart sing ever. How long have you known him? 
couple of years. It's like <laughs> Is that like saying, like, I don't think I've ever seen him smile? <laughs> well, definitely not. <laughs> I mean, can you really get to know someone? In 15 years? No. Being married to them? No, right? There's, yeah. there's no, no, not at all. Yeah. Um, so uh, I think we got to make him sing. I think that's what, what, that, what this Bust all comes down to. Karaoke. Mm-hmm. He said, mm-hmm. That's actually his nightmare. If you ever want to torture Bart, yeah. karaoke. Oh, nice. Make him do karaoke. Well, that, that will be his, his nightmare. Uh, uh, on the on the nine hells. Yes, there is definitely one of those rings is a giant karaoke bar. That it's like, oh, by the way, here it's your turn, and yes. I like to just it's like the actor's nightmare, but it's like worse. What would your ring of hell be? Oh gosh, I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, I don't know. I, I immediately went to like having to watch Barney over and over again. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't even particularly dislike Barney. It's just that did, song that. Did that your kids watch Barney? No, they, they were past the Barney that. age. Yeah. yeah, but we never had a Barney phase. No. no. Yeah, Barney went in and out pretty fast. I don't know. I think mine would be um, having to listen to slash hear or listen to slash watch people throwing up, oh, or me feeling having like a constant feeling like of a nausea. gagging feeling. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. or or watching animals be tortured. Oh. Or watching them be eaten on a nature show. I can't do that. Oh, either. like when like when a lion like goes in like hunts and you're like And the lion spots its prey. That and is there's like gross. this little like zebra that's like, hey, hey just hanging out here in the tundra. Hey. And then the lion I can't. I just I don't want to see you're that. You're getting upset just thinking about I am. it. That's very sad. I uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I never really been confronted with I have what a lot. my personal hell is. I, I feel like I could name all nine. I feel like you've used this in your in your articles and stuff that you've written. I feel like I should if I haven't. I know, right? That's yeah. it. We're we're bringing it back. Yeah. Confessions of a part time sorceress is coming back. Part full time wizard was full time wizard. I'm sorry. I'm Come sorry. On. Come on. Well, are you a full time wizard now? You're like I'm a full time board game wizard. wizard. Yes. Yes. I'm a, you're a full time wizard. I guess you can I also have confessions. <laughs> I, I, it's been a long time since my last confession. <laughs> I don't, I've never had a confession. Never? I'm not Catholic. Do you want to do it now? I guess. All right. Uh, so, hey, how's it going? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't, gosh, it's been so long since I've done it, too. But uh, uh, would you – so there's two, there's two options, at least for the Catholic religion. You can either kneel and behind a screen – where everyone kind of still knew who you were because it, like, it wasn't like a good screen. It was just like an idea Oh, yeah, of a I've screen. seen that in the movies. Um, and then the other Plus way your was, voice isn't distorted. I did what? a... I stole candy. <laughs> oh, that was always my go-to where I was like, uh, I disobeyed my parents. You had to do this as a kid? Oh, God, it's the worst. Yeah. Yeah, and then if, to the person that you like know and you see every week and who knows your parents, you got to be like... Um, is Here's there some like things that I did? Is there like a doctor patient confidentiality thing? Like there's supposed he, to be. Can the priest tell on you? Uh, I don't think that ever happened. But uh, you know, it was always kind of as a little kid. You're like, I'm going to get in trouble. I know it. Oh yeah. yeah. We're veering into uh, weird, theological weird stuff religion here, talk that is probably not appropriate. Uh, since Could be like for a legends and lore segment or a lore, a lore you should know. Yeah. Thing. Oh, we're just going to rename the segment now. It's legends and lore. I don't now. know where that came from. Is that a thing? <laughs> I feel that's a thing. Is that a thing? It uh, legends and lore sounds like it's a that's been used in other things. That's what I mean. I don't yeah. know where I pulled that out of. I don't know. Anyway, it's amazing. We are, as you alluded to earlier, super excited for uh, D and D Live 2019. The descent it is coming just next week. Do you realize a that? week from today? A week from today is when uh, it all begins. Uh, in just about uh, yeah, we're like T minus uh, an hour and forty minutes from when it would begin. I am. I would. I will be at the airport a week from now. Okay, right, because you're arriving on Friday. Yeah, you're going into Burbank. Mm-hmm. Nice. That, yeah, that's where all the cool kids fly. Right. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So I should, if provided there's no traffic and no delays, I'll make it for my panel. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> you should be no problem. No problem. If at not, all. you might want to have a stand-in. Oh, I didn't even realize it was that close. I. Oh well, we're doing some work now here on the podcast where I'm like, oh, we should have. Can someone we just pull to up that in. spreadsheet? Yeah. We'll spreadsheet. have someone to fill in for Somebody sure. Somebody can fill it in. No problem. It's fine. Um, but what's exciting is that uh, we spoke to Deborah Ann Wall last week. She is kicking it all off uh, on Friday at 2 p.m. Pacific time oh, with amazing. her cast or main cast of uh, Relics and Rarities. Awesome. Uh, which is uh, Jasmine Bueller, Julia Dennis, Xander Generet, and 
Tommy Walker, but I, I don't want to leak it, but there are two other people who are going to be joining. You know who they are. I know who they are. You'll find out on, uh, on, on Monday, those of you who are watching live, and also on Monday, for those of you who are listening to this in podcast form, you would already have known who and the I new cast members are. I bet it was awesome. Are. And they, you, you better bet your bottom dollar. That's so exciting. Um, I'm, and also, can we just take a minute? Yeah. How great was Deborah? She's amazing. Yeah. I you know, I uh, uh, I was uh, speaking to someone here at Wizards who had a colleague who was in an, on a, working on other properties and stuff, and they listened to that interview here on Twitch, and they were like, "Man, I, well, I would would give anything to have someone who like so devotely loves Dungeons and Dragons, genuine passion, the way that she does, and she's super like she's an, very articulate about it, and yeah. she just loves to bring the new people. Exactly, like that's she just gets it. She gets it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Anyway, sorry, sidetrack. Sidetrack. Just wanted to call that up again. I, I really want loved her. to uh, talk through because we have two uh, exciting new cast members coming to uh, Friday's game at they, 6 p.m. They Pacific just keep time. coming. They keep coming. Woo! It's amazing. Uh, Are you going to tell? I'm going to tell it right now. Okay. You want to hear? We yes. We're not recording our real intro yet. We'll actually do it in the real this intro, is, too. This is for the, the Twitch audience. We want everyone to know uh, Kelly Lynn D'Angelo from Girls Guts Glory as well as uh, from Sirens. Yes. She is going to be joining uh, in the game with Jeremy Crawford. Also, Alex Lee from Dragon Friends. Yay! She is awesome. She was in uh, Stream of Annihilation when the Dragon Friends were here. Uh, I always loved uh, their... That's awesome. They didn't necessarily have costumes, but they all wore... I don't know if you remember this. They all wore um, suits uh, with white shirt and a black tie. They all wear black, and it was all like this this, yes. this, this, this crazy awesome getup. Um, I don't know what she's going to be, uh, what costume she's going to be wearing for this, but I'm very excited uh, to welcome those two to Me the cast. Me too. Welcome. Woo-hoo! It is going to be fun. Uh, and then... That is, uh, again, th- a four-part story that is led by uh, Jeremy Crawford, Kate Welch, uh, Marisha Ray from Critical Role, oh, yes. and Chris Perkins. Uh, they're all going to take a chunk of it? They're all taking a chunk, yeah. They're all doing two-hour sessions uh, from that. And Very so, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to see I what's going to cook up there. I am excited to see everybody's different style yeah. for DMing and how they present parts of the same story it's gonna be very different yeah you're right because they're different personalities and mm-hmm. that's that, that but that will come through i'm excited um and i don't want to spoil it even more but i think what i do their personalities will even you know i think be part of the of the of the programming it'll be you know part of the story that they're going to tell maybe not their personalities but they're they're definitely putting a different spin on the new adventure that we're going to be announcing next week uh and what it means so do they work together behind the scenes on this or are they just like siloed into this is my two hour chunk and now you take it from here? We have been working all together okay. uh, on this mostly. Uh, so I'll give you a little hint behind the curtain. Like about a month ago, I just basically put Jeremy, Kate and Chris in a room with me and we're like, what is this going to be? I know I want you guys to lead it, but you know, let's brainstorm what, what the stories are. And because they're such great Im- improvisational storytellers, you know, it's mostly just bullet points and, and outlines of, of what it is going to, to look like. We talked about all the cast that would be there and how that could be incorporated. Um, some of the cast members are going to be in multiple sessions. So they, they could potentially, you know, bring knowledge that they learn from other games into it uh, and, and, and continue it through. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, that was kind of the, the, the concept for the Stream of Many Eyes uh, day two yeah. uh, uh, stuff. Um, and it's not going to be as as strictly outlined as that. It's going to be very much like, hey, they might have something that's important, but they might not. And it's just providing a little bit of continuity uh, from one game to the next. That's so cool. Yeah. I love it. So yeah, we know where it's going to begin. We know what's going to happen basically uh, in each of the, the middle two sessions. And then uh, Chris Perkins is going to wrap it all up. All right. Yeah. Bring we, it on home. We gave him Chris the, uh, the uh, what's that called? In closer? A, in a race relay. Oh, a closer. Oh, closer is good. The, in the relay, they're the. The, I don't know. I This is where we're really athletic and we know all the terms for athletes. They're the, do you know? Anchor. The anchor. The anchor. That's what I was thinking. That was the word. Matt almost had it. He was like, uh, that? maybe. That was so weird. You made the noise, but his mouth went. We're ventriloquists. Eh. I don't it know if was. You know. That was so, it was like lip sync. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. My mind is blown. It's, yeah, we're, we, are, we are like that. We have a connection. Lift. And we just, you know, have seen each other probably three times previously. <laughs> Kindred spirits, man. All it takes. Past life. All right, so we should actually do our real intro for reals. 
Yes. Yeah. I just realized we're at 1226. We got to call Chris Funk at 1 p.m. today. So you want to do our realsies? No. No? Yes, I do. You want to rehearse some more? No. Ma, wa, wa, one, the two, three. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So just real quick. Oh, maybe I'll save this for the intro. Never mind. Okay. Uh, usually we can hear the little clicks that start the recording, but if that does not patch in right, just let us know if we're recording. <laughs> oh, I heard it. <laughs> he made it with his mouth. It works. Or mm. did you? <clears throat> <laughs> Welcome to Dragon Talk. Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're staring at me. I didn't know if there was more. We are going to sing the entire intro. Special episode of Dragon Talk. It will be the same tune and we will keep doing it. Dragon Sings. <laughs> Don't Not talk. We should do a Dragon Sings. That's a great idea. Welcome <laughs> to Dragon Sing. Oh, how many people just turned off this podcast? Like at least 16. Sorry. Like, mm, no, not so much. It's basically everyone who gets mad at me for singing in the office. They, they all just like, Who mm, gets no. mad at you for singing in the office? I think Bar Carroll does. I think He's Dan Tobar does. And with his chopsticks, like clicking. He's like, <laughs> so mad. Take out your voice box. <laughs> I'm squishing you. I'm squishing you. <laughs> oh, who are you? I'm Greg Tito. Okay. I'm Shelly Mazenoble. Hi, Shelly Mazenoble. Nice to meet you. You are a uh, board game wizard. That's what Mazenoble means. Right. Exactly. Yes. And, and you I'm are a happy vodka. Gregarious vodka. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that, that should be like my stage name uh, for when I do magic. Yeah. <gasps> magic. <laughs> magic. Can I do magic or play magic? Uh, both. It's, it's confusing sometimes. When I perform sometimes. magic tricks uh, while using magic cards. Right. right. Yes. Okay, that's good. Pick a card. You could card. totally do that. Yeah, it's a black lotus. Oh, yeah. No, it's not. It's mine. Ha, ha, ha. See? That easy. I took the black lotus from behind your ear and put <laughs> it in my own collection. <laughs> and then it's on. Uh, uh, no. You can just go back to the cabinet and get another one. Because remember? <laughs> right. This is this is now canon. There's right. There's a magic black this lotus This is Wizards of the Coast canon. Where it's not actually the card of a black lotus. It's actually just a black lotus right. growing. Yeah. And then you, like... Flick it with your finger, and yeah. then psh, the cards of black lotuses fall out of it. That's how that's how all magic cards are made. Oh yes, you're right. Flick, flick. Mm, oh, ones. just got a new one. Excellent. Uh, we are gearing up for D and D Live 2019. Hence the punchiness. The descent. Uh, we are descending into punchiness. We are. You can yes. feel it happening. We are going down. We're whoa, getting down. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Again, that uh, was theater. I thought you were falling. I, I did, know. I didn't know. I didn't know I was quite. Good at You're so really good, good at, at ventriloquism, just Thank like you. I am. <laughs> so that is, uh, for those of you who haven't been paying attention, D&D Live 2019, The Descent, is our biggest annual year-long, celeb- not year-long, year- year- It maybe an- feels like it, planning-wise. Yeah, exactly. It does feel like that. Yeah. Uh, we have been playing this for a long, long time. Uh, off the heels of the multi-award winning stream of many eyes. Yeah. Uh, we took all of the stuff we learned from that amazing event and, and funneled it into this one. So we have a whole bunch of programming uh, going live uh, at 2 p.m. Pacific time on Friday, May 17th. Kicks off with Deborah Ann Wall, Dungeon Mastering for Relics and Rarities, a special live presentation of awesome. that. She's got her main cast all there and two special guests which I'm very excited about, and you shall be too. And you will not tell us who. I will not tell you who. Will that they be in costume? I actually don't know. I've been saying uh, folks to be uh, kind of just touches, like have like, you know, bits of your costume. So it is not quite like streetwear, but, you know, also just leaving it up to whatever they want to do. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So who knows? And plus, I don't, were they, they weren't necessarily in costume during Relics and Realities either. I think they were mostly. Uh, you know, in their in their in their yeah. attire, it's theater of the uh, mind. Well, that'll be amazing. Then uh, Shelley takes the stage <gasps> <laughs> at four p.m. Pacific time. Uh, between that and six, we're going to be talking about all of the new adventure, what it's all about, yes. why you should be excited about it, what the locations and the settings and all that stuff are all about. Uh, that will be told by Chris Perkins, Kate Welch, Jeremy Crawford, and Mike Merles. Awesome. Um, then there's going to be a segment where you, Shelly, talk about I some am. things that you're working on. I actually just saw some packaging. Some mock-ups. A mock-up for what we're going to talk about. Mm. And it was so cute. And I squealed so There's loud. a burst. There's a burst involved. Oh, that one. The when burst. you guys were picking. I don't, I don't think we're going burst on it. 
You removed the burst? Yeah. That's against my Keeping it simple. That's against my orders. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you remove that star burst? My burst. <laughs> Marketers <laughs> love bursts. They really do love a burst. Art directors hate them. They don't like the juice bursting in their mouths. No. When you see it, you're mm. like, fruit gross. flavors. Um, so that's a whole bunch of hints. Uh, you know, so go ahead and decipher everything we just said, and you'll be able to figure out exactly what Shelly's going to be announcing. But also, we get to talk about the other thing that we haven't been able to talk about. Oh, that other thing. That's so fun. I forgot about that thing. I, I haven't because it's all I think about. There's Okay. Well, there's that. And then there's like a whole other thing that nobody even knows anything about that is going to be exclusive, least spoken about on uh, D&D Live. Um, so I'm excited about that, too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting for you to spoil something. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to my sound? I oh, couldn't no. hear anything. Oh, good job. Do we have any good job. lip readers on Twitch? <laughs> lip readers on Twitch figured it all out. Elephant shoes is what she was saying. Elephant juice. shoes. Olive juice. Olive juice. Oh, I didn't realize that. Olive juice. Um, we also then, after uh, we talk about all those amazing products, we're kicking it off with D&D Entertainment. Which is what? Uh, uh, four Dungeon Masters, Jeremy Crawford, Kate Welch, Marisha Ray from Critical Role, and Chris Perkins are weaving a four-part tale, uh, two of which will be on Friday night, two on Saturday night, uh, and it'll be lots of fun. We have two. Uh, every, everything about this is all up on dnd.wizards.com slash dnd live okay. 2019. So don't um, don't worry about writing it all down. Don't worry it saying. all down. I mean, I know you're all taking notes frantically right. on your graph it's paper. online. Like you should. I know on the internet. It's on the internet. Check it out there. But we have two new cast members joining Jeremy Crawford's <gasps> game, uh, which I'm very excited about. Big fans of them. Uh, Kelly Lynn D'Angelo. Yes. From Girls Guts Glory and Sirens. Uh, she's an amazing storyteller. She's a, you know she writes musicals? She's a uh, no. writer. She's got a musical that's like coming out very soon. She has a musical? Yeah, she wrote a musical. She also has written all this How crazy How do you even TV. do that? I mean, I think you take a pen and then you like put it on a paper and then like you move it's it got to be like an ink, like a quill and ink. A quill and ink. That's how you write a musical. Yeah, exactly. I don't Yeah. She what? Wrote, I know. She's an amazing creative person, well. wonderful storyteller. I can't wait to see what she performs uh, during that game. And Alex Lee from. Uh, what Alex the Lee, heck I know, is we've going got on in here? In. Uh, Alex Lee from Dragon Friends uh, will also be joining uh, that game, which I'm super excited about. That's awesome, too. Yeah, I know, right? This is so cool. I love it. More people. Woo! Yes. More the merrier. Exactly. exactly. Uh, and then on Saturday and Sunday, uh, we will have tons of content going from four mini studios uh, in the other stage, and it's that's going to be amazing. Tons of groups like Rivals of Waterdeep. Uh are you falling? Falling down? <laughs> yes, yes. You were definitely on, on camera there. What That's the Na heck? Nathan Stewart is spoiling uh, him, h himself. What are you doing? As he's walking across. In the watch train. Nice. Okay. You know, it's like a live stream. Like 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 you watch it on your computer. Mark <laughs> <laughs> can edit everything out in post-production. And, and so can Matt as well. <laughs> Why would we edit this out? Because this is comedy this is important. gold. Uh, especially the trip. I love the trip across the camera. <laughs> the trip? I didn't see that. that. Definitely don't edit that out. I want to see that part. We're going to keep it in. Um, Hi, Nathan. You guys are my favorite. I just wanted to tell you guys that. Aww. Aww. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, Hi. We're favorites. We're the favorite. You've all heard it here. That's right. Nathan said we're his favorites. That, that means uh, nonstop promotions for everyone. Shelly, Shelly's our union it. rep, so that's it's definitely happening. That's right. Today yeah. is a holiday, as it turns out. <laughs> it's a holiday. It's the third sunny day in a row in Seattle, which that's we've right. now deemed a holiday. That's, I think, that's law, right? Yeah. In in time Seattle and municipal, and we're getting time and a half Pacific Northwest, even though we don't get paid by the hour. <laughs> we're getting time and a half on our salary pay. Yep. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, salary and a half. What was I talking about? Probably D and D Live. D and D Live twenty nineteen. Oh, the rooms, all the different rooms where right. we're gonna have. So we've got four studios with uh, uh, dozens of hours of content coming out there on Saturday and Sunday, including me and you yes. talking uh, to uh, some of our amazing partners oh, about all their like, products that are coming it out. It is a constant parade of who's who of D and D. Yeah, we're just gonna keep rolling them in. Right, just uh, so cool. So D and D Beyond uh, will be there. They'll be broadcasting live from one of those studios the entire awesome. uh, time. Uh, High Rollers will be joining them. Uh, Rivals of Waterdeep. I'm excited to see them again. I was, I can't believe it's been only a year since we introduced them uh, onto the channel at wow. Stream of Many Eyes. Really? Right? That was it? That was it. Oh, I feel like they've been part of our family forever. They are. They are. Mm. Forever and ever. Amen. 
I like them. Um, we also uh, have uh, 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 tons of amazing folks, including uh, Heroes of the Veil, are going to be uh, performing through the D&D &D, uh, channel, D&D uh, &D Beyond channel, I'm sorry. Uh, and then we have another studio that's all devoted to podcasts. We have loved the audio content that has come from our podcast creators, and we wanted to highlight it as much as we can. Now I'm we get, glad. Finally get to bring them to one of these events. So One Shot Network, Taking Initiative, D&D is for Nerds, Venture Maidens, <laughs> Drunks and Dragons, which you should be joining. Uh, yeah. D20 Dames, Jundan Drunks, which I'm going to be joining. Yep. Uh, and Gregarious then, Vodka. Yeah, exactly. Gregarious Vodka is the name of my character. Yep. I'm going to totally roll a character that's named Do you that need now. to. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, a mishmash group called the Cocktail Crew. I'm sensing a trend here. I am uh, too, and I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Uh, then, of course, we have uh, Acquisitions Incorporated, the C-Team. Dragon Friends uh, will be streaming live. Uh, an amazing panel run uh, by Tanya DePass from Rivals of Waterdeep uh, it, called Roll for Inclusion with a lot of folks talking about uh, bringing in new voices and new audiences Panels. to Dungeons & Dragons. Um, we are uh, inviting the Saving Throw show to talk through everything that's been happening all weekend long. Uh, Girls Guts Glory is going to be there. They're going to be debuting. I don't think I've said this publicly for the first time, but huh? they are going to be starting up their podcast. Uh, they're doing a podcast? They're going to do a podcast uh, with using content, and Kelly Lynn is going to be uh, the dungeon master for that, which is very exciting. Kelly Lynn is very, very busy. She's very busy. Uh, then we have the Broken Pact, Sirens, uh, the, the Sirens, Tales from the Mists, Enter the Darkness, which is another wonderful group made up of a whole bunch of people uh, from the interwebs. Uncommon Trust, uh, which is Dungeon Mastered by uh, B. Dave Walters, uh, and Monsters and Fables, which has just debuted on oh, Facebook. People I'm super really excited that. about this one. Right? Yeah. This it, sounds amazing. It's a cool mashup of like D&D and Grimm's Fairy Tales. Yeah, yeah. Like this needs, this needed to happen. It's cool. I really I like it too. I want to play. Uh, the, and it's been getting great numbers on Facebook so far. People Good. really, really dig it. So Because uh, it's an shared, awesome shared concept. Wide. Uh, Hell Hath No Fury. And then uh, Nerd Poker. Our friend. That's exciting. Dan Telfer, Blaine Kapach, who we had on the podcast uh, a couple months ago. They are joining with their entire cast, including Brian Posehn. Uh, and then, this is the, the Sunday evening time There's entertainment. This is crazy. And this is why we're talking to Chris Funk uh, in just a couple of minutes. He's put together an amazing lineup of musicians to uh, kind of close us out. And it'll all be led by Dan Telfer as the comedian MC. Uh, we've got lots of community really? people who are going to be singing uh, and performing, um, in addition to uh, folks who are returning, like Library Bards, uh, which are fantastic, Bards of Greyhawk. The Mountain Goats Bards will be there, as well as a new group called, well, not a new group, but a new group to me, The Magic Sword, uh, which are uh, going to close out the entire night. So that's it. I ran, th I ran through it, it all. That is incredible. That is incredible. This is like a combination of like, gaming convention and Lollapalooza. I didn't even mention the, the that the fact that people will be gaming. Oh. Do you want to talk about that? People will be gaming. They'll be playing. Playing in a DD and d epic. That's right. Which is amazing. Yeah, I've been talking about right? it, so you, you can talk about it now, right? Well, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> They're playing in a and d epic. That's which is right. like really super cool. What is your uh, conception of what a and d epic is? And so everybody's spot. playing the same adventure? And they, what they do kind of informs what happens in the adventure. Kind of like a legacy D&D game? I don't know. I, I've never got to play in one, but I, I've seen them played, and I always hear people screaming. There's going to be lots of screaming. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be 20 tables of people playing D&D with 20 DMs, but there's going to be like an Uber uh, DM that's kind of running the whole show for the entire room, is not that, just your individual thing. Do we know, I know who that is. Yeah, go ahead. It's Chris Lindsay. Chris Lindsay. Playing Mert. Mert. Uh, but a special new costume for Mert the Money Lender. Is it like a, like a summer, like Mert's summer attire? Cause, Perhaps. Because that other costume is gorgeous, but it's like. It was very hot. Sweltering. For sure. I'm assuming it's going to be hot in LA, right? I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's temperatures. Like no hotter Generally. than Seattle, though. No, I know. Seattle's, Seattle's basically like, like LA this week. The third level of hell right now. <laughs> Woo! Exactly. 
Uh, so that's going to be exciting. A lot of the people who are uh, coming are uh, interested in doing that. And then we have our vendor area that will have oh, yeah. 14 yep. of our partners selling all types of uh, so you and showing off. You can buy stuff. There. You should buy yep. stuff there in addition to. And then our swag bag has got like 26 items in it. And this is for people who purchased a ticket. That's right. To come we're to coming the there event. for a three day badge. Uh, and they're getting a whole bunch of stuff, including Ghost of Saltmarsh, which is coming out May 21st. So they're getting like an early release copy of Ghost of Saltmarsh. That's awesome. In addition to all type of crazy, amazing Dungeons and Dragons swag God. you can't get anywhere else. And stuff from our partners. It's it's gonna be off the uh, I don't know. You're, I think the the bag might break, even though I made sure to get really sturdy bags. It's probably gonna break. It's probably gonna break. It's gonna burst. Burst. Marketing people burst. love bursts. Got to get that burst in there. Uh, so uh, I really quickly mentioned Ghost of Salt Marsh. It is coming out May twenty first. Look for two covers. One is standard and is amazing, and you'll find it everywhere, including at our friends D and D Beyond, Roll Twenty, Fantasy Grounds. You'll be able to buy uh, purchase it digitally from there on May twenty first. But Go into your local ga- game store, and you can get a special alternate cover. And it's gorgeous. Which is uh, got a uh, snarling Sahuigan coming at you. Sahuigan. Sahuigan. We should do a D&D spelling bee. Oh, yeah. An- spell Annihilation. You know, when we did the stream of Annihilation, yeah. I had to write Annihilation a lot. Many times. And it, I never really got good at it. Mm-mm. I also Me have neither. a problem with the word initiative, which I initiative also is hard. write a lot. Initiative, like yeah. you have to really kind of sound yeah. it out. Yeah. yeah, but that's a good idea. All right, so we've we've got lots Next of year. show ideas. We're gonna do Dragon Sings. We're gonna do D and D Spelling Bee. Yep. I mean, why don't we just call it Spelling D and D? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then we'll get uh, Kelly Lynn D'Angelo to write the musical Spelling D and D. We can have. Um, B. Dave Walters host our spelling bee, so it can be D and D spelling bee with B. Dave Walters. <laughs> done and done. Okay. All right, we should kick it to our Laura. You should know segment. Yeah. And Let's then afterwards, that. we'll be talking to Chris Funk, Let's. which is going to be great. We're going to get funky. Woo! Peace. Cowbell. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Well, that was a longie. <laughs> Gave you a longie. Sorry. That was a, how, how many minutes was that? 309. 345 minutes. It was derailed a little bit with the uh, with the Nathan Stewart cameo. Tri- he tripped in front of the camera. You didn't see it? He, no, like, tri- he so almost did. He's like, whoa. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> Still not sure why he came in here. Uh, yeah. It's exciting. That's all I know. That's all I know about um, so yeah, then we do like a quick little mid tro where we get be- from the B segment to the other segments. Uh oh. Time is flying. Was that a yawn? No. That was a Ooh. <laughs> <Ka-ka>! <laughs> <laughs> You're a bird. Ka-ka! Ooh. You are attacking. How? Somebody needs one of those, uh, these mic extensions. Where does he get one? Mic extension? Oh, you mean like these things? Must be. Oh, I actually don't know. I think we ordered them on Ryan Marth's uh, recommendation. They are nice. They are oh, nice. I somebody... love that they move. Yeah, exactly. So uh, somebody asked why we don't have Dragon Talk t shirts. Why don't we have Dragon Talk t-shirts? That's a miss right there. Yeah. Well, we got we got to make it. We got to make it happen. I mean, I know at least two people who would wear them. Yeah. Spoiler. Us. Quinn would wear one. He would. He would. Let's get some for him. Okay. All right. We're making them now. All right. You ready to record the mid-tro here? Yep. Oh, we're rolling. I'm rolling. Even hear any of the clicks. We don't. Everything's different when we got a new sound person. Without, without clicks. <laughs> well, I feel like I know about 14 more things after uh, listening to Chris. Yep. Yeah. I got about eight. Eight? I already knew some of them. You were taking some, some furious notes over there. Copious, I believe is the word. Well, but you're, they were angry notes that you were taking. <laughs> you're like, that's wrong. No. Again. <laughs> Never knew that. <laughs> I hate not knowing things. 
I know, but Especially now we, when it's lore, I should know. You should know it. It's in the name of the segment. I it's know. right there. I know. Right. But now you know, I know. You know what we should know now? Chris Funk's phone number? Chris Funk's phone number. <laughs> Let's call him up. You do know his phone number. I do. It's, uh, it's, got, it's all about funk. Bring on the funk. <laughs> Bring on the noise. Make my funk. <laughs> He's going to be so mad <laughs> that we're like... <laughs> It's like I've never had anyone make any jokes about my name before. Well, I haven't heard that one before. I know, right? Do you ever Did do you that where you're like, phone? I've got the cleverest things about your name, and then they look at you blank-eyed, and they're like, uh, yeah, uh, I was yeah. 12 once, and I've had all of these heard things it. said to me. Ha <laughs> ha, Smelly Shelly. Oh, really? That's super clever. Smelly Shelly? That's not even that clever. It is when you're eight. Mm, I guess that's true. Were you smelly? Yeah. <laughs> Totally. That's why it wasn't funny. I'm like, it's not even funny because it's right. true. Because I just farted. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm totally smelly. Do you know that? You're bending over trying to, trying to uh, roll up the pants legs in a certain way. That's why. That's why you farted. That's probably why. Do you know that if Bart and I were a celebrity couple, what our celebrity name would be? Uh, Carol Noble. Okay. It would either. There's two. We w- could be Smelly Fart. <laughs> <laughs> or we could just be Shart. Shart. <laughs> <laughs> I was going with last names, but now that makes it a lot better. Yeah, no, it's better with It's them. not like Benifer and all that stuff. No. It's, uh, yeah, Shart. You guys, you guys are a really cute Shart together. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's catch up with Shart. What are they doing? <laughs> Ooh. Shart takes a trip to the Bahamas. Shart is on cute E! Couple alert. Entertainment Live with hey. Shart. You should get them to come to D&D Live. We should get Shart to come? Yes. <laughs> Shart is going, yes. but also E! News. Can you you pitch them? You pitch them. We'll get it happening. We got celebs. We got it going on. Um, speaking of, let's uh, let's call up uh, our, our music celebrity. Let's do it. Mr. Chris Funk. Okay. All right. Beep, boop, bop. That's dial on the phone. I, I, I got that. Beep. Thank you for beep, explaining beep, it. Beep, <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Wow, you're like Matthew beep, Broderick beep, from beep. War Games. <laughs> you're like, how did you... Hack the, the whopper. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, wait. Hello. <laughs> now it looks like a phone. <laughs> that's, that's the prop that we needed to really complete this image. Thank you for that. Uh, all right. Do you want to do our outro or do you want to do that after? Well, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. We can, we can do it. Time's a ticket. If only we knew when it was starting to record, then we can just roll right into it. Right. But, oh, it's going. All right. Great. Cut it. Print it. Perfect. I enjoy speaking to Chris Funk a Me lot. Me too. He is uh, just super creative, really uh, passionate about uh, both music but also gaming. It's 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 wonderful. Yep, and he uh, I, I appreciate all of his efforts in helping to make D and D live. Yeah, an amazing success. It's true. Um, so cool. We've been batting around uh, ideas for uh, a D and D musical for a long time, uh, and this is the 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 next evolution uh that we could get to before we go full hog on uh you know performing and making a D musical happen there you go it's gonna be i mean we already have a kind of a stellar cast we do we do and then all we got to do is is sing with them yep i'm gonna lip sync lovely fast up where we belong on s- an- angel's when wings e- wait. no Love i'm trying to get some D in there on dragon's it's wings obviously duh Duh. See, this is why we need Kelly Where and the Angela. cloud giant sings. John Eag- un- un- uh, killed the giant <laughs> eagle's wings. The rock destroys us. I can us. do this. Yeah. I can actually. I used to be very talented at like changing up songs. I, I've been meaning to tell you this. You used to be very talented. I was. I peaked in seventh grade. <laughs> you mean like you were like Wayne Brady level of like being oh able to my God. improv? Like my friend and I were like Weird Al Yankovic. Like Ooh. we could take any song and we would turn it into something really funny. And they were good. Yeah? Yes. I feel like I, I did that too. I, I know I t- started turning on Edna to uh, Weird Al Yankovic. Really? Yeah. So she'll like Does ask. she even know the song so that he's parodying? Because. Has he well, done no, he's been doing stuff now. Like he's definitely got more modern songs. Don't move. Yeah, and so he's got his polkas. Uh, don't move. Wait, what's, what do you mean? Don't move. <laughs> I, want to, I gotta take a picture. What? What's the matter? <laughs> is it like a bug on me or something? No, but it's what's great is the way that the microphone is positioned. You kind of <laughs> hang on, everyone. <laughs> Wait is, this for This is good it. radio. This is good radio. This is a great podcast. It looks like you have like a little animal face. Like huh? you have like a little like black nose. That doesn't make any. It's like I'm a little badger. <laughs> You're so. Oh, honey badger. And you don't care. Look at how cute. Oh, 
right, because it's got like the little dot yes. right here. It made it look like I had a little nosy. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah. That's super good podcasting. That is really that's good. That's why we win the potties. <laughs> <laughs> is that going to be a running joke now? Yeah. You're like, I just pottied. Everyone potty. check that's out. That's potty quality. I left my potty in the bathroom. I got to go get oh, it. Oh, you better go get it. <laughs> Some people do put their potty in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> when I so uh, they can see it a lot. I uh, uh, I don't talk about this often, but I used to hang out, I guess, in the office for uh, the Cohen brothers. My my brother, my brother, my friend was a was the assistant to the Cohen brothers. Really? Yeah. Uh, back in like the early two thousands, and uh, there was a doorstop in their bathroom, and I never really thought much of it until I looked at it, and it was, uh, I believe, Francis McDormand's Oscar was the doorstop. No. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah, it might have been a replica. Replica. Why would she give it to them? I think they liked the idea of using it as a doorstop in the bathroom. That ho- I hope that that's how funny re- that would be. I, it could have been a replica, but it made me laugh a lot. That they also had the marmot, the marmot from uh, um, that scene in The Big Lebowski, where it's like uh, in the bathtub and like attacking uh, J- uh, Jeff Bridges. That was an attachment on a Dewalt drill. Oh no way! And so they had it in like a glass oh, plexiglass case in their office. Like the attachment that was yeah. like the marmot that like spun around on a drill to make it look like it was like uh, well, that's a agitated good idea. and attacking them. Oh. Yeah, yeah Bart, was, there was tons of fun one of stuff Bart's like favorite that. movies. I'm now getting my my buddy fired from the job he got fired from 14 years ago. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Fire him? <laughs> I guess. I guess so. Uh, speaking of getting fired, uh, we should wrap this up before uh, before Nathan comes back and exactly. fires us. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad you're here as our union rep to be able to right. uh, uh, negotiate us out of this. Uh, you guys are all amazing, amazing, and thank you for paying attention to every little step we take. I know every breath we take uh, here elevating. on Dragon Talk. Uh, we are excited to bring that show to D and D Live 2019, The Descent. So watch, listen. Retweet. Rate us. Get people to know everything that's happening at D&D Live. We want it to be a moment for Dungeons & Dragons as a whole. Uh, yeah. We are uh, take over. Gonna be, you're going to be able to watch everything that's going on live, being able to pick between different video screens and everything. dnd.wizards.com slash D&D Live 2019. Bookmark it now. That's where all the new information is going to, to, to drop uh, with uh, new cast members, new cast members joining Relics and Rarities. All that's going to be on there. And that's you'll be able to awesome. watch everything from there, too. So make it so. Can't wait. Spread the word. And, uh, and uh, watch you'll it. watch me and Shelly there on Saturday and Sunday morning. Mostly early. unhappy that it is so early, but we will be hopped up as much coffee as possible. It is really <gasps> we got to ship down mugs. I didn't even think oh, about that. Oh, how are you going to do that? we got to ship down tons of mugs so that we can be drinking coffee from these mugs while we're doing this. Um, You know what? I have a swag idea for you. Mm. Then I'll What's tell that? you after. All right. Pitch it. Pitch it. Like we, that's another one we could do. It's like Dragon Shark Week where we pitch like swag ideas. Yes. Like Shark Tank. It's like, yeah. Dragon Tank. No, I don't know why I said Shark Week. I don't know. Because we could do it for a whole week. We do <laughs> Pitch your ideas. Shark Tank Swag <gasps> Week. I want to. You know I love Shark Tank. How about we, we just have it, talked about this. Why don't we call it? It'll be actually a show that Bart and you do together, and it's Shark Week. Shark Tank. Ooh, <laughs> I did not want to get in there. Get dropped into the Shark Tank. Somebody did say, like, oh, man, I'm sorry to miss it. There's probably a lot of poop jokes or something. Like, You're not wrong. <laughs> I remember Quinn came home from daycare once in, like, different pants. And I was like, what happened to your pants? And he goes, a sharded. <laughs> <laughs> like, proud. I remember you telling me that story. And I'm like, yeah. I remember his teacher was like, you what? Like, he just walked up to the teacher. He's like, Miss Jess, I sharded. Jealous. <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> Look at my superpower. <laughs> <laughs> I can multitask. Oh, man. Uh, so that's another show we're starting up. And we'll, it'll make it happen. Shark Tank. How can people uh, ask us not to do any more poop I, jokes on Dragon Yeah, Tom? I'm going to say they... They're gonna want that information. Sure, you can you can tell me at Shelly Moo on Twitter. I will pass it on. I and, guess. And uh, and what about Avalon Hill? In case you want to be like, don't do I a don't, shark. Don't bring Avalon Hill into this. <laughs> they have nothing to do with Shark Tank. Um, <laughs> Avalon Hill too on Twitter or Avalon Hill Games on Facebook. I am at Greg Tito on the Twitters. Uh, Greg underscore Tito on Instagrams. And you can find out everything about this fun game that we sometimes talk about called Dungeons and Dragons yes. at DungeonsandDragons.com. But more importantly, just go to dnd.wizards.com slash DND Live. Use the hashtag DND Live 2019 and uh, spread the word because there's going to be so much fun entertainment about 
the new adventure, so much. which is set in <laughs> the story is about. Fun. If, and if you listen to this podcast backwards, you'll understand exactly what that is. <laughs> While looking into a mirror ah. and saying Bloody Mary and saying Tiamat three and times. And saying Tiamat. Here comes the Momo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we don't have our props, but uh, I think we should look at what's oh, yeah. happening here with this pen. And, and uh, this <gasps> coffee stir. Oh, yeah. Ah, 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 the rocks fall. <laughs> <laughs> dead. I died. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh it worked we did it that that's the outro we did all the, the tros i know and look and we have four minutes to spare you know my nickname is mumu like mumu right like you wear a that's mumu? what my mom always called me oh mumu. well that's why yeah because it's shelly, shelly moo Duh. but it's kind of like if you take off two of those o's what do you got momo <sighs> wow conspiracy <laughs> it's happening <sighs> Uh, all right, everybody, we are going to take a short break here and then get ready to call in Mr. Chris Funk uh, and make that all happen. I imagine there's going to be some testing involved just because we've got a couple of really green horns here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to make it work really quickly, but who knows? Bart we'll, has to Google how to live stream a podcast. We'll roll maybe 19 or 20 and, and it'll come on fast. Hard to tell, really. We don't know. It could be anywhere between now. So and don't be never. surprised if it takes a couple of minutes for us to get going. But for now, we're going to take a quick break, and uh, we'll be back with talking with Chris Funk. Goodbye.